Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Sam with Prococo, and today we're gonna go through some of the new features that have been added to iClone 8 in 2025. Reillusion released a grand update a few months back, and it included some really interesting tools for Rococo users. Everything from new timecode functionality with AccuFace, and also using Rococo with other motion capture products, new filters, motion trails, and a bunch of other non-destructive ways to do motion capture editing, which was already amazing in iClone and has only gotten better. In this video, we'll take a quick peek through some of the new features, but also go through why iClone is so amazing for Rococo users in the first place. Okay, let's jump into it. So let's just start with the basics. It's still easy as ever to either import recorded motion capture from Rococo Studio into iClone onto your characters, or to live stream motion capture directly from Rococo Studio into iClone 8 or Character Creator in real time. To get your motion capture into iClone, it's as easy as just exporting out from Rococo Studio and then dragging that mocap directly onto your character. And once you do, you get access to all of these amazing mocap tools that Reillusion has. Whether that's just adjusting the shoulder position, doing digital puppetry for the hands, or just doing standard mocap editing but with a very robust IK editing system, Reillusion is still one of the easiest ways to get that AAA level of mocap editing into your motion capture. However, you don't just have to use pre-recorded mocap. You can also live stream your mocap directly into iClone using the Motion Live plugin. And it's very simple to set this up. We just enable live streaming in Rococo Studio, then hop over to iClone and select Rococo from the drop-down menu. And of course, you can use the Rococo head cam natively with AccuFace. And you can check out our in-depth tutorial for AccuFace if you wanna see the type of performance you can get from just a single camera input. AccuFace has a bunch of editing features again, which make sure that the motion capture coming in is going to look smooth, is gonna look good on your characters. And this is where it gets exciting with some of those newer updates that just dropped in that grand update. The first of which is timecode. The timecode feature should make it a lot easier to use Rococo motion capture with other types of mocap. You can see in the video that Reillusion put out that they have Rococo smart gloves working with an XN system. And the fact that you can do this all natively within Reillusion means that you can get these two tools to play together very nicely, which is great. We want our smart gloves to be used with any system that they can be, right? And so this is a really great way to use multiple mocap systems together. The new timecode feature means that you can do all of this automatically, assuming that you set up timecode in your audio recording or in your footage recording, but you can combine everything into the timeline and it will do that syncing for you. When it comes to editing, there is now a motion trail editor in iClone 8, and that makes it easier to do editing when you're affecting the translation of the entire character because you can see that feedback right on screen in the graph when you're doing your editing. Another really exciting part of this update were some of the new filters that were added, including things like peak removal, but also Butterworth smoothing. So Butterworth smoothing is a process by which you are smoothing out all of the, you know, sometimes quite jagged peaks you get in your keyframes, in your motion capture keyframes in your graphs. Butterworth will smooth out all those peaks and it will give you a result that can feel a little bit more premium, a little bit more AAA. The last thing I'll mention is that they have made some new improvements to non-destructive editing in the timeline. And that's always great because you wanna make sure that you're always able to go back to your original motion capture if you're doing work and you haven't affected all the keyframes, right? Every All of your editing is being done on top of that original and you're preserving all of that original motion capture non-destructive editing, right? So that's just a brief overview of the state of iClone in 2025. There's a bunch of exciting new things that have been added, but also iClone is still just as reliable and good as it has been in the past. And if you wanna jump back to some of our old YouTube videos, we go a lot more in depth on the actual retargeting process, the actual live streaming process. And of course, we'll be adding more videos in the future that focus a little bit more intensely on some of these time code features, especially. So hopefully this was helpful put any questions you have down in the comments below and make sure to check out those links down in the description if you want to dive a little bit deeper into these workflows thanks everyone see you in the next one